Okay guys, uh, this is the uh, fake mini VCR cable. Um, it's a USB cable, um, so it's got a standard sort of USB socket on it. And <clears throat> it supports this J2534 protocol, which is an industry standard protocol, uh, which is actually now mandated, um, certainly in the US, by um, various regulatory agencies, um, which can be used for interfacing with um, the OBD uh, port uh, in the vehicle, um, which is a 16-pin connector here. Um, there are some more modern connectors, but uh, this is the, 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 the most common, certainly, in vehicles more than f uh, three or four years old. So what is in here? Well, it's, there's a microprocessor or microcontroller in here, uh, which uh, communicates with the serial port or in fact emulates a serial port um, on the OVUSB and translates the codes um, into the uh, OBD format. So uh, let's take it apart and see what's inside. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick look and see if we can just undo this. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this then. So USB connection here, power in the red and black and data on the white and green uh, goes into this little board and we've got here is the microprocessor. It's an NXP uh, ARM 7 60 megahertz 32-bit CPU or microcontroller rather uh, and it's driven off this 10 megahertz crystal and there's an internal PLL to generate 60 megahertz power. So it's a pretty powerful uh, processor um, on the ends here we've got bus transceivers. This here is um, a, a TJA 1050 which is a CAN bus transceiver and uh, this one here is uh, a single-ended bus transceiver used for automotive purposes and it's part of the OBD standard or the onboard diagnostic standards and ind indicator LED here as well. A few little uh, components as well, passives. And there's a little bit more uh, going on on the back as well. Um, this here is an FTDI, um, FT232R. <coughs> well, you can guess what that's going to do, really, isn't it, from the 232. It's a USB interface chip, which basically um, creates a serial port out of a USB. So it's a monolithic serial port emulator. And we've got a couple of voltage regulators here. These are both 3.3 uh, volt low dropout regulators, they're from different manufacturers and different part numbers, I've got no idea why that's being done. And we've got a few odd capacitors and bits and bobs, so it's a really pretty straightforward circuit and all the magic really uh, is done by the uh, bus transceivers and by the firmware in the CPU, uh, which is of course Pirate and uh, a pre-release version which is not very stable. But uh, there we go, just a simple little device. Um, all the magic's in the software, which is why the uh, genuine devices are so expensive uh, and these are so cheap. But there we go. It seems to do the job just about, um, as long as you don't try and do anything complicated.